People are not thinking about the benefits of fossil fuels. And if you don't think about the benefits of something as significant as fossil fuels, you're going to make terrible, terrible decisions. So I want to break this down, this principle of carefully weighing the benefits and side effects. I think it boils down to three irrefutable principles when we're thinking about energy and climate, and particularly fossil fuels and climate. So one is we need to factor in fossil fuels benefits. So if you just ask somebody, hey, when we're looking at fossil fuels, yeah, we need to look at negative side effects, but don't we also need to look at benefits? Everyone will say yes. And yet, almost none of our thinkers seriously do, do this. And one thing I noticed very early on, which has really come to pass recently, is that nobody talks about or talked about the amazing food benefits of fossil fuels. When I was debating Bill McKibben, one point I made was, you know, fossil fuels are the food of food. And it's really true because they, they provide the diesel that powers so many of our agricultural machines, like a combine harvester that can reap and thresh a thousand times as much wheat as a human being, so they power those machines. And then they're also the basis of natural gas fertilizer. And without this, eight billion people could not be fed. And yet we almost never talk about it. What it just shows is we live in a culture of fossil fuel benefit denial. People are not thinking about the benefits of fossil fuels. And if you don't think about the benefits of something as significant as fossil fuels, you're gonna make terrible, terrible decisions. So that's principle one. Principle two, this is even less recognized than the benefits in general is the, what, are, what I call the climate mastery benefits of fossil fuels. But what I'm talking about is how we use fossil fuels to make our climate far safer. So one of the major things we do with fossil fuels is we neutralize climate danger. We do things like build sturdy buildings to protect ourselves from storms. That takes a ton of energy. We have irrigation systems that protect us from drought, which is historically the, the world's cl largest climate-related killer. Of course, we have heating and air conditioning systems. We have storm warning systems. We do all these things to neutralize climate danger, and yet we don't talk about that with fossil fuels. We say, oh, well, we'll get rid of fossil fuels, and we'll be so safe from climate, but you ignore all these, this ability to neutralize climate danger that's so significant. And it's thousands of pages of reports that doesn't talk about it, even though, as we'll see, that's led to record lows in climate-related disaster deaths. And so you cannot talk about climate and fossil fuels and ignore the climate mastery benefits if you're a climate-focused organization unless you're just incredibly irresponsible, and yet that's the norm.